back again to brand new episode of Rap of the Week Show. Can we talk about his mind game? And of course, I'm here with the blackiest. Not about the blackiest. <laughs> I'm here with Tommy Black. On today's show, we're taking you through some of the entertainment trends that happen during the week. You can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at J2CD. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be the first to know. Moving on to the very first gist of the day, the comedian and actor Woody Arode has asked people to stop worshipping others because they want to get help. Wally in his Instagram post stated that even after praising them, only people who want to help you will do so. He also went on to say that using the words like my daddy, my mommy, my clinical, clinical, my mentor, my father, my this, my dad, and he said, see, person that no will help you, no will help you. She can have, but that's true. Rabbi Young says has pointed out that $2 million is now one million there. Going by the exchange rate currently obtainable in the market, the rapper added that from 2022 onward, there will be so many young billionaires in Nigeria. Nollywood veteran actress Iretiola Doyle has apologized after three people took to Twitter to claim she was mean and snubbed them when they first met her. Twitter users made the allegations in response to a tweet asking people the meanest celebrity they ever met. One user claimed that the talented actress gave her a look that made her feel very bad the first time she met her in the cinema in 2012. And another claimed to have met Ireti in Abuja when she came for a tinsel meet and greet where Ireti gave her a look that made her feel bad. Netflix has announced that Squid Game has become the first biggest TV show launch of all time, with 111 million fans watching the show since its debut on September 17th. On Tuesday 12 October, Netflix announced that the record had been broken after 111 million people tuned into the drama, surpassing the 82 million accounts that watched Brigadier in that show's first 28 days. The South Korean show is currently the number one show on Netflix's top 10 list in 94 countries across the globe, also becoming the first South Korean show to become number one show in the United States according to CNN. Popular Instagram dancer Jamina has sold movie star Toto DK for 500 million naira. It should be recalled that DK had revealed that her ex boyfriend Prince Popogri had Jamina's sex tape in his possession. In a petition filed by the Instagram influencer through her lawyers, Jamina said DK's claim were damaging and malicious. She also asked that the actress tenders an unreserved apology to her and pay the sum of 500 million naira as explanatory damages for the malicious publication. Kim Kardashian has come out on top after a new ruling in her divorce from Kanye West. The 40-year-old socialite has reportedly been awarded $60 million estate in hidden goods that the two shared during the marriage. The two negotiated a buyout price for the property which they built together. However, Kardashian confirmed the divorce was still happening during the monologue on Saturday Night Live. She said, I married the best rapper of all time. Not only that, he's the richest black man in America, a talented, legend genius who gave me four incredible kids. She said at that time, so when I divorced him, you have to know it came down to just one thing, his personality. And that's it on Wrap Up The Week Show. Hope you guys had a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at j 2 cv and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to drop a comment to let us know what you think about the trend. My name is Sammy Black. And my name is Henry Toka. Don't forget to follow me on all socials at official underscore Henry Toka. And you can follow me at Sammy Black. Until next time, baby. Bye.